Hello everybody, today is Saturday, November 2nd, 2024. Make sure you set your clock back one hour at 2 a.m. Here we go with my video. We're going to talk about how I feel today and my anger. So here we go. So, in case you didn't know, I live with my mother, my father, and my little brother because my older brother moved out after I got sick, so... It was better when he moved out, but my younger brother should have moved out too. It would have been better for all of us because I would have gotten enough sleep and I would have been able to get along with my mother more. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. It's just too sad to explain, but, you know, based on outbursts, it's possible that he may have mild brain damage because of the head injury he had in 2019. Mm-hmm. I'm not a doctor, but it's entirely possible. And when you have seizures, that's a sign of a brain injury, too. Mm-hmm. So to be safe, I have to limit about what I say on here because I don't want to offend people, but, you know, I'm just sick and tired of living with my family, and it's time to move on. I am running out of time in terms of being independent, and that's a sad thing. So, anyway, hopefully after my birthday, which is the 12th of December, I might move out, but I'm not sure when I can do that. But I will miss my mother and my aunt and those who love me so much, you know. It's time to move on, and if I continuously live with my mother, how am I going to get married and you know, have a family of my own. It's not fair, but I'm telling the truth when it comes to that. So I'm looking for work at the present moment, but it's so damn hard to find work, especially when you have a disability. Mm -hmm. But mine's a slight, so I never talk about it on YouTube, but I just did, so... Anyway, until I can move out, I'm going to have to to deal with all this crap. But, you know, I will always call a counselor whenever I need help, and hopefully he or she can help me get through it. But it's unacceptable, very unacceptable, that, you know, I have to deal with the constant outbursts and the banging and the yelling and the cursing, it's too much. Because when I was younger, I used to have the same thing. But when I was 19, this was back in 2009, I had gotten into an argument with my mother, and it was so bad, in my room, I broke the window. And ever since then, we weren't able to fix it. That's how angry I was, and yes, it's considered rage. Look it up. So, you know, um, what was I going to say? Because of that, you know, I felt guilty and sad, and if it weren't for my mother trying to help me, I would have died from the injury that I had when I broke my window in my room. You know, sometimes my mother is a good mom, but sometimes she also annoys me, and that's what makes me very sad and irritated. So, anyway, like I said, I hope by later this month or December, it's my final time with my mom. I'm going to take a deep breath. Yep, because I'm under a lot of stress right now. So, you know, I got to move when it's time to move. Anyway, I was saying that it's so hard to talk to people about how I feel, especially with my therapist, you know. So, oh man, hopefully, like I said, by the end of this month or December, I'm out of here. No ifs, ands, or buts. And you can tell I am fed up with everything. So, like I said, I'm going to move to either Town Center or Twin Brook. I don't know yet, but we'll see. If you want me to live in Town Center, give it a big thumbs up. Because Twin Brook, yes, Twin Brook is not that safe compared to Town Center. So anyway, 
like I said, it's going to take a while for me to decide where to live, but until then, I have to deal with this nonsense, and I'm not going to like it. So, with that being said, it takes a lot of patience to move out. And I should have moved out after I got sick. It would have been better. But, you know, due to no job, it makes it harder for me to decide on my own where to live. Anyway, we got a few more minutes before we wrap up. And I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. Despite losing one subscriber, I'm going to get another one after this. I hope so. So, like I said, um, my friend Andrea doesn't have a place for me to live. And despite having a husband and pets, you know, it's going to be hard for me to live with her if I could. But, you know, I might have to live with my close friend, Latoya, who is a subscriber. And she may be watching. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she might have room. When I say Latoya, I meant Latoya. Anyway, we got a few more minutes before we wrap up. But until then... You know, I'm going to have to deal with this every single day and month, whether I like it or not. Until my younger brother is removed, I can be safe again. And yes, I want my mother to, to divorce my father. Why? Because his behavior is not getting better. That's exactly why. I'm sorry. I keep getting emotional. It's so hard. I have to calm down. So anyway, like I said, if you know somebody that's going through a lot, all you can do is just reach out for help by calling a crisis hotline. And that's how you can save a person's life. Especially if they're in danger. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a love, a share, or whatever, and I'll see you guys later. Okay? That was my rant, and hopefully... This video will make you feel better once you vent about your feelings. See you later. Bye-bye.